Imagine a battery that can run for more than 1,000 kilometers on a single charge without being hindered by cold, scorching heat, or rough roads. This is not fantasy. This is the reality that Toyota claims its upcoming solid-state battery will achieve, and it has sent shockwaves through the electric vehicle industry. On one side, Tesla has been pushing its 4,680 cells, touting performance and power, while Toyota has been quietly refining technology in its lab's improving materials testing prototypes, and now stepping toward what many thought was years away. Could this be the end of Tesla's dominance in batteries? Or is Toyota simply setting the stage for a new era of EVs where reliability, range, and safety all rise together? Toyota is no longer just the company that first made hybrids popular. It is now building EV factories in Japan, the US, and Europe, investing tens of billions of dollars in EV platforms and battery R&D. It is also researching and developing. Its Lexus brand is already delivering models like the RZ and UX300e, and its goal is to sell more than 1.5 million full electric vehicles annually by 2026. Solid-state battery technology is central to that plan. These batteries use solid electrolytes instead of liquids, a difference with massive implications. Because there is no liquid to leak, fewer risks of overheating or fire exist, since the solid material can be more stable under extreme conditions. Performance holds up better across temperature swings. Research from Toyota suggests that solid-state batteries may offer a driving range of up to 900 miles in some versions, with other estimates indicating even higher figures. These batteries can recharge from 10 to 80 percent in about 10 minutes, providing rapid power comparable to refueling a petrol car. Mass production is targeted for 2027 to 2028. These projections come from credible sources, including Toyota's public announcements and independent reporting from battery and EV specialists. They also warn that cost, durability and large-scale manufacturing remain challenges. Toyota announced today it's taking a big step toward not only the future of electric vehicles, but American manufacturing. Toyota will begin producing the first US-made battery electric vehicles starting in 2025. It's going to be a three-row SUV, and as of now, all battery electric vehicles are made in Asia. Toyota says trends are showing more consumers are switching to electric cars and also want more cabin space. Many Toyota employees who are working on other models will shift to start working on these new battery electric SUVs. Tesla's 4,680 cells have been important stepping stones. They offer high energy storage, faster power delivery, and are already in use in several Tesla models. However, they remain liquid electrolyte based, which means the risks of fire, damage from overheating, or deterioration in extreme cold or hot weather are still present to some degree. Solid state promises to address many of these issues. Additionally, range loss under extreme conditions may be lower and the longevity of cycles may be higher. Toyota's roadmap indicates incremental improvements in battery types before the full adoption of solid-state technology. New lithium-ion packs with bipolar structures, high nickel cathodes, and enhanced fast charging capabilities are in development. These characteristics define Toyota's transition. Toyota has signaled that upcoming next-generation performance battery packs will deliver over 600 miles of range and reduce charging time significantly. Then the move to solid state will push this further. One of the technical difficulties has been ensuring that the solid electrolyte materials maintain long-term stability. Solid materials can crack under repeated cycles, exhibit brittleness, or face issues with ion transport. Toyota is working with partners to solve these issues. The manufacturing scale, cost of materials, and supply chain of key minerals are all key factors, but the belief is strong that breakthroughs will come. Toyota's engineers have even hinted that new composite electrolytes and improved anode designs could be the missing link that turns the dream into reality. The company's steady approach shows it is more focused on getting it right than rushing to market too soon. If Toyota succeeds, the implications are vast. EV owners may no longer fear range anxiety. Long trips, even across continents, could become practical without frequent stops for charging. Charging infrastructure demands may ease because fewer but more powerful stations could suffice. Safety concerns that have hindered adoption in some markets may diminish significantly. Insurance, regulatory and consumer confidence in EVs may shift sharply.
Research collaborations aim to make materials more affordable, enhance cycle life under real-world conditions, and scale up manufacturing. When major firms like Idemitsu are building solid electrolyte plants, things are moving from prototype to industrial scale. Analysts believe that the involvement of traditional suppliers means Toyota's timeline is serious, not speculative. Even governments have taken notice, with Japan and the EU considering incentives for companies pioneering solid-state production. Beyond the science, the psychology of the EV market will also change. Consumers who once hesitated due to slow charging or limited range will find confidence. Governments may update incentives to push wider adoption. Entire supply chains from mining lithium and nickel to building charging networks will transform. The ripple effect will touch every layer of the energy economy. Airlines, shipping industries and even military applications could eventually benefit from this solid-state revolution. As lightweight and high-density batteries open up opportunities for electric aviation and long-haul freight, some critics caution against overpromising. They point out that real-world range often falls short of lab claims. Manufacturing defects can emerge when scaling up and costs may stay prohibitively high for ordinary consumers. Tesla's current technology still leads in many EV markets and has a head start in deploying infrastructure, charging networks, and mass delivery. Brand loyalty, service networks, vehicle software, and vehicle ecosystem components also matter not only battery specs. Moreover, Toyota's slower approach in the past has sometimes frustrated EV enthusiasts who favor bold, fast innovation. Nevertheless, the momentum appears to favor Toyota. If solid-state batteries meet expectations for safety, charging speed, durability, and cost, Toyota may become the new benchmark in EV battery performance. While Tesla has pioneered many innovations, this could be the moment when a shift occurs when EV buyers begin to expect more, not just from range but from reliability and safety across extreme conditions. It could trigger a new wave of EV competition globally, with automakers such as Hyundai, BMW and Volkswagen racing to develop their own solid-state systems to stay competitive. So. Here is where things stand. In just a few years, the average driver might expect an EV that charges nearly as fast as filling a gas tank, lasts longer than many current EVs, works consistently no matter the weather, and travels huge distances without anxiety. The EV race is evolving. It's not just about speed or power anymore. It is about enduring performance, safety, and genuine innovation that reshape the driving experience with electric vehicles. As technology and competition converge, the next decade could redefine not only who leads the EV industry, but also what we envision cars to be. The transformation that solid-state batteries promise could also change how humanity consumes energy altogether from home storage to renewable integration, creating a cleaner and more resilient world. Now the question is, if Toyota's solid-state breakthrough becomes real, can Tesla maintain its crown, or will the automotive world crown a new EV king?